Hey guys, I'm not going to do the usual introduction because this is just part two um, of the diecast haul. <laughs> um, <clears throat> so, pardon me. Oh, that was not expected. So yeah, I've got the box of um, 43, I think there's 43 in there, I think that's what the ad said. Hot Wheels on here, so we'll do these first and then we'll have a quick look through the bag. So, let's roll back a bit. I've actually still got this, just to prove this is, um, well, hopefully prove this is the, um, being recorded straight after part one. I've still got the same Pepsi can here that I was drinking in part one. And I've still got the corgi vans here. <laughs> right, let's get the box round. Is it round the right way? It's one of these magnetic closing ones. Righty ho then. <clears throat> in fact, if you've got a good eye for detail, you'll see that this hasn't actually changed. <laughs> so, I think this box might take a while. I'm just going to pick them out and uh, just, well, show you basically. So, we have got Spider Man. Um, It sort of looks like a Mustang, but doesn't look like a Mustang, if that makes sense. Is it actually based on anything, or is this like a fantasy vehicle or something? It doesn't say, it literally just has the date, 2010, Mattel. Made in Malaysia, that's all it's got written on it. And then there's like, code 19704. There's several numbers on it, that's all it's got written on it. But yeah, looking at it, from the side it looks a bit like a Mustang, like a fastback, but not from the front, so I don't know, it could be just a fancy. It's nice, I do like the red colour on that one. What have we got now? Um, Chevy? Maybe? It's a 64 Chevelle. I do like that dark green on this one. Is that a blower sticking out of the hood? <clears throat> I don't know. Or at least I can't remember if I've got any of the 64 Chevelles in the collection. I've got some later models. I have got two duplicates here. Um, I don't even know what these are, hang on. Oh, that is a horrible colour to try and read. Plymouth Barracuda. And it looks like Hot Wheels first released this in 1969, because that's what the um, copyright is on that. Obviously this wasn't released in um, 1969, this is a fairly recent re-release. See, a lot of these um, die-cast manufacturers, they do that. So when you see the date on the bottom, it doesn't necessarily mean that's the actual date when that was released. It just means that's when the copyright started. But they do tend to, like I said, re-release or reissue certain castings and whatnot. They might run them for two or three years and then take a break and then re-release them again like ten years later or... However many decades it's been for that one now. <laughs> right, so next up we've got Green Beal. The yeah, modern version of the VW Beetle. We have, I know I've already got this one. Uh, I hate these type of bases with a passion because they're such an ass to read. Even with a magnifying glass. I had it up the right way to begin with. A Dodge Demon. There we go. Got there eventually. I've got a nice blue Dodge Demon. Next up, I'm just picking them out of the box at random. 
Oh, I know the shape of that one, and I can't remember what it is. And that is an absolute gorgeous shade of purple, which is one of my favourite colours. Uh, I can't remember what it is, though. It's got a Chrysler trademark on it, but... Oh, it's a Hemi Cuda. It's another one with that shiny base. That's why I was struggling so much to read it. The little Hemi Cuda. With a hood scoop. Yeah, 71 Dodge Challenger. I have got those, but don't think I've got one in that colour. Mazda MX-5, I have got one in that colour. So that can go in the duplicates pile. Uh, a Land Rover, I have got a few of these in different colours. This one's not one of them. Well, I have now, I've got this one. <laughs> What's that you got Baja Blazers or something that's got written on the side? Yeah, Baja Blazers. Right, what have we got next? Pontiac. What do you reckon, Pontiac? Someone will probably know. Let's have a little look see. 50-50 charts and I get it up the wrong way um, every time. No, it's a 67 Chevelle. Should have known that. Because it looks very similar to the 64 over there. <laughs> it's an unusual <clears throat> My voice disappeared for a second there. That's an unusual one. can't tell what it is. Ooh, it's got a metal base. Is that an older one then? Oh, it's made in Malaysia, 2005. Stocker. Or Stocker. So it is just... Well, I don't want to call it a fantasy. But... Stock cars are actually based on real cars, so maybe it's not. I just can't see what it's based on. As interesting, you see, some of the, some Hot Wheels fancy cars I do like, but very few. <laughs> Ooh, I quite like this. I don't need to look at that because I know what it is. It's an El Camino. I quite like the um, tempo work on this one. That is a very nice looking um, El Camino. The only other El Caminos I've got, I've got the big old drag tail fin in the back. Yeah, that is actually um, quite nice. I like that one. I'm going to guess a Jaguar. I don't know, it just looked like it. it actually reminds me of a modified E type Jag. Let's have a little look. I was way off, it's a Corvette Stingray. <laughs> right. You're not getting me this time, this has got to be a Chevelle. If I look at the bottom of this and that's not a Chevelle, I won't be happy. <laughs> it's a Plymouth I suck at American cars Plymouth Barracuda Barracuda rather Formula 5 or Formula S I'm not sure to me 
from the side that looks just like that Chevelle. Oh, that's a Bel Air Nomad. And I actually quite like the Nomads. It's American. Yes, another Dodge Demon. Another 71 Dodge Demon. I think I might have it in that yellow colour, actually. That is a Pontiac. I can't remember what Pontiac, but that is a Pontiac. And it's got a Hotchkiss written on it. It's not a name I recognise. Anyone recognise it? That is a lovely shade of blue though. We have got a pink Chevrolet Impala. I recognise that rear end. It's got the triple lights on the back. This is another duplicate. I've actually got three of these now because I've got one in the packet, one loose, well two loose now. If anyone's interested in my duplicates let me know, I'm quite happy to um, sell them on and post them. That's just landed upside down right between the Renault and the um, Deutz tractor. <laughs> This one, I'm pretty certain that's a duplicate as well. A little Porsche 9, um, is that 911? Pretty certain it is. Yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty certain I've got that in my um, Hot Wheels collection already. So that's another duplicate. Um, this is another duplicate now that I look at it. But I quite like it. So I might actually keep that duplicate, unless someone can persuade me to sell it. Ouch. But I'm hopeless at um, identifying American trucks. Well, it seems like I'm hopeless at identifying American cars. It's a Chevy. So if I could own a truck, it would be a classic American truck like this if I could afford to ship it over and whatnot. Now that one I've never seen before. We've got the Spider-Man car from earlier and we've got the Superman Mustang. <clears throat> never seen that one before. At first, I thought it was a duplicate because I could only see that. I thought, oh, I've got blue with yellow stripes. And then I saw the Superman all over it and I thought, nope, I do not have that one. What's next? Honda Civic? Haha, <laughs> yeah. think I've got this one as well. I'm going to have to double check and I'm not looking forward to that because I've got three very large totes full to the brim. In fact, my third one is now overflowing. I'm going to have to start another one. I know I've already got this as well. I've got Batmobile. In fact, I think I might have a couple of them. Um, I'm not sure on that one. I know it's a beetle, I mean I'm not sure if I've got it or not. It's based on the rarer um, split window at the back. That's a Camaro. I do recognise that one. It's another one Hot Wheels like to do. They must have done hundreds of different colour variations of this. One of my lights just flickered, I'm not sure which one it was. Um, 
Um, I've got a few variations of this as well, but not this one until now, so that one's a non-duplicate. I think that, that's a Honda, isn't it? A little Honda City car. Yeah, 1985 Honda City Turbo 2. You turbo, that tiny little thing. That must be a little bloody rocket if they did that in real life. You see, the guy did try to protect him. He's put some, put some tissue between them. Alright, we've only got one more layer. We've got, uh, I think that's a CRX from the looks of it. Yep. <clears throat> it's another one I don't have, or didn't have. I've got a red one, I think I've got one in another colour, but I haven't got that white one. Right. This actually looks quite nice, I'm going to go for that next. Ooh. I've got this, ver oh, this van in purple, like a metallic purple, but not this blue one. It's quite nice. Something else I wouldn't mind if I had the money, a, a, um, like an 80s Chevy van. 70s, 80s Chevy van, something like that. And this one actually doesn't have what it is on the bottom. There's just a load of numbers and copyright Mattel and whatnot. Right, what's the next one? I think I've got the truck. But I don't think I've got it in orange. I don't think I like the orange either. A bit too bright. It's not one of my favourite colours anyway. What is it? Legends. Something Legends. Now, even with a magnifying glass, I cannot read that writing on the door. I think that front looks like a Ford to me. Yes, Ford F1. 1949 Ford F1. So maybe I'm a bit better at identifying classic American trucks than I am the cars. Especially telling the difference between a Plymouth and a um, Chevy Chevelle. <laughs> right, what's next? Another Beetle. Sort of like a drag Beetle. Now I know I've got the drag Beetle, but I don't think I've got it in this black and yellow colour. In fact, I'm pretty certain I don't have it. So what I actually like about these, they are quite uh, distinguishable, so you can sort of tell what you've got and what you haven't got. Whoop, let me throw that one on the floor. I got this Mustang. So that's one I'm happy to part with as well, if anybody likes their Mustangs. There's some at the back here that I'm actually saving to last. Ooh. Shivy. Do like these old Chevys. So uh, the 55 and the 57 are probably two of my favourite um, classic Chevys. So uh, whenever I do see a variation of those, I will always buy it. And that's um, a version of their 55 Gasser. I didn't have. That's a Dodge Charger. Come on, I gotta get that one right. He says having to check it. <clears throat> yes. 69 Charger. I've seen the Fast and Furious movie, so I should know what this one bloody is. <laughs> right. Oh, here's another duplicate. I've already got that one as well. To be honest, I have 40 odd cars here. I haven't, there isn't that many duplicates. I thought I was going to have more than that. I've got one, the definite ones, I've got one, two, three, four, five, at least five, maybe six, because I've got a question mark over um, that beetle. Oh, so seven definite ones, because I forgot the Batmobile, so the question mark would be this one, that might be. In fact, I've got a funny feeling that one is a duplicate as well. 
So we'll say eight so far, which still isn't bad. <clears throat> Nine, but I actually like this, so I'm going to keep that one. <laughs> and I've noticed I'm not the only collector like that. If there's a casting that a collector really, really likes, they do tend to keep multiple of them. And I do the same thing. I've seen it a lot on various um, Facebook groups I'm on. Ooh, an Audi Estate. I quite like that. Not a huge Audi fan, but I quite like that. Another slammed American truck. I'll tell you what it is in a second. In one of my favourite colours again, dark purple. I like darker. In fact, I like darker colours of most colours. My favourites are purple and blue. Every time I say my favourite colour is black, I get told it's not a colour. Sixty-seven Chevy uh, C10, twenty thirteen Mattel. TMGM FMAM <clears throat> I'm fairly certain you know I don't know what you guys think but I'm fairly certain that these two are done in the exact same shade of purple at least to my naked eye oh no that they are very slightly different. There's not a lot between them though, but there is a difference. <clears throat> right. Uh, I think this is Don's Charger from one of the fa um, Fast and Furious movies, isn't it? I will admit, I've not seen them all. And the ones I have seen, I can't actually remember. But I'm pretty certain it's got... That's why I think it, because it's got like an ejector hole in the roof. Does it actually say it on the bottom? If I can get it in the right light. No, it just says 70 Dodge Charger. I'm guessing, looking at the bottom here, it's had a four-wheel drive conversion. Possibly. Right. Next up, let's do these two together, there's one more after this. Two Escort Cosworths, which um, I know will um, sell for a nice penny, because people love these. Um, that's one of the reasons I do see scalpers that will scoop them up whenever they see them. Now, I've seen posts where people have bought like 20 of these. <laughs> just to sell them on. <clears throat> so yeah, that is actually a duplicate, but uh, I don't know, I might part with it. I'm not a scalper, so I'd be happy with a quid, to be honest. <laughs> I don't like scalpers. Right, let me just uh, tuck these back in the little box that they came in. I will show you probably my favourite picks out of that bag. Right. I don't even know how many die casts I actually have in the collection now. Last time I counted, I think I got to a thousand and gave up. <laughs> I'm not kidding. I know I got quite high and just gave up. I thought I can't be bothered anymore. Um, but I am actually curious. So one of these days I will actually uh, go through, I'll go through all my boxes one by one and count what's in them and note them down and then I can add them up at the end. Uh, I think that's the easiest way to do it. That way it's all written down and then I can just take a break whenever 
and come back to it whenever. Um, yeah, so. But I know it's got to be well in excess of a thousand. Now. I'm not just talking about little ones like this, I'm talking about all scales that I've got. Because I've got larger scales on display here in the lounge. I say larger scale, it's sort of around that sort of scale. And I've got some Matchbox uh, Super Kings and King Size up there, and lots of other models. There's Corgi, there's some Major Red, there's all sorts up there. <clears throat> um, which may get reorganised soon just like that end of the lounges and I'll talk about that in another video uh, as I made a decision the other day or the other week right there we go Ooh, right we'll drop that there so yeah I've got a nice heavy bag here oh. Oh. there we go <laughs> oh Got the dodge. <laughs> Can't find which end opens. There we go. And that is actually the first time I've gone through that box of Hot Wheels, by the way. So it's the first time I'd seen most of those, probably. Apart from what was right on top, of course, when I opened the lid when I first bought it at home. But I hadn't actually gone through any of it. Right, I'm going to show you this one because this I actually thought was quite interesting. It's electrical. And it does work. It's got a bit of a funky connection though, to be honest. But yeah, that does work. That was in the box of toys. I kept that because I sort of liked it. <laughs> now we got uh, transport truck and why is it when I see so many of these I've always got a hole in that front windscreen other than that you know considering his age the wheels are in good condition the paintwork's in pretty good condition it's missing its bulldozer I think it is for this that goes on there oh in fact I think there might No, I don't think it's that one. So I kept that because I want to try and find the tracks for it. And someone's put a custom tow hook on that. Look, that's not a factory tow hook. Someone has actually drilled and riveted that on there. Uh, there's a couple of these in there. This one's got the grill missing, but the other one is okay. The other one, well, there's also the trailer for it as well, but the tow hook is missing. In fact, there's a few Matchbox trailers in here. That one's broken, you can see where it snapped off, and it's missing off the other two. I don't really know what to do with that, you know, there's not a lot going for it in the way of spares, unless I wanted to uh, custom build a dump truck or something with it. Otherwise, to me, that is just a piece of scrap. Maybe if I made a scrapyard diorama on this scale, I could have stuck it in there, I suppose. Um, we've got Barago, Lamborghini. Um, the reason I actually want to keep that is because I want to um, just undo the screws and respray the shell. That's what I like about these Baragos, you can just undo the screws and you're basically left with a bare shell that you can just, you know, strip down and repaint. Um, no, this old matchbox that I wouldn't mind restoring. Front axles were, um, oh, front axles, front wheels. They were both uh, seized up when I got this. I'm free now, but... It is quite rusty on that axle, so if I did restore it, it would get two new axles. But other than that, 
You know, everything else is metal. There's nothing else I'd need to mask up or anything. Just um, three new axles because I'd need the hinge pin for that as well. And that need replacing. And I was bent that back one. Look, the back wheels have got a bit of a camber to them. Uh, what else we Well, that matchbox trailer, again, with the uh, dough hook missing. I don't know, maybe someone 3D prints them. It probably wouldn't be too difficult to 3D print a new one to put in there, would it? I just don't have a 3D printer or the know-how to um, use one. Although it does have three spare tyres with it, so that could be useful for something. Spare tyres at least. Uh, we've got one of these. I've got another one of these, but it's a later version with different wheels. And my other one, see how that opens up? When I close it, it actually stays closed. It doesn't do that on the other one, it stays open. Flips back open again. Um, not that one yet. That's not actually part of this. I've got a couple of these in here. That one's actually missing the bit off the back though. And it's headlights. But it's got good windscreen surround. So what I plan to do is take that windscreen surround from that one and put it on the other one in here because the other one's a bit more complete. Um, and I can't find that one up there. Oh yeah, there's another little tractor with a little dinky tractor. I don't mean as in small, I mean it's made by Dinky. Um, I've just got to straighten out that front axle, it's all bent and twisted. No idea how that happened. Um, you know. So, I've got one of those in here, one of these refuse trucks. Which is one thing I saw in a photo and I thought I actually want that. Um, I also saw that there was another body for one in there as well. And the reason these took my interest is because I've got that one. I already had this one in my collection. But I thought it would be a lot easier to actually take these wheels off and axles and put them on this one. Because the body is all complete and in one piece on this one. You see this has got the bit there so when you tip it up it stays up it's got that sort of framework there the other even the spare body here the spare body here does not have that it's all come off it's probably still on the truck that this came off of actually and this one hasn't got it it's actually broken so i just thought you know and this one's actually got a couple of scratches in the Actually, no, I think they're cracks in that front windscreen, so I'm just going to take the wheels off of this one and put them on that one, so I need tyres. Just out of curiosity, are they going to fit? It does. So that's the size wheel I need. I knew that trailer would come in useful for something. It's actually quite a nice um, snug fit as well. I've got so many matchbox vehicles that use these old wheels. I've actually super glued a lot of them on. Because <laughs> they were just getting right on my nerves. Because they would just come loose like these two have. Like that. And then fall off. And then you'd lose them. So the ones I've got on display. that, Or the models I've got on display that use this type of wheel. I've uh, super glued the damn things on. Right, so I now need another three of these tyres. And then, in theory, I can take that other one apart, paint it all up and put it all back together again with some nice wheels and tyres. See, it's a twin rear axle, so I need another three for the rear axle. That one should. Yeah. And I'm going to glue the tyres on as well, just to stop the buggers from coming off. I've got spare matchbox wheels. I've got a little 
tub full that I've collected up but from buying just junk matchbox models basically at car boots um, but none of them to actually fit that uh, I've got an Italian brand vehicle here or model I should say I have no idea how you pronounce the word but it's got made in Italy written on it Polistil is how I would pronounce it made in Italy The wheels sort of feel like rubber, they feel like a very solid rubber. And looking at the wheels, it's had a lot of play. Look at that. <laughs> some um, little kid has enjoyed that at some point. Uh, this is another good one. I've seen a lot of these in yellow, but this is the first time I've come across one in white. And. Uh, on the diecast groups I'm on, it seems to be quite popular with these, especially as they lose the canopies, to make these into like a custom car transport. I mean, it is actually a racing car transport, so it's not really difficult, is it? But they spray them up in a custom colour and make a few mods to them. So I might do it with that one. There's the other one, which has actually got the grill on the front. For some reason I keep thinking that I already had one of these in the collection, but I'm pretty certain I don't. Actually, I think what I'm thinking of is that I did have one in the collection, but it was a lot worse condition than that, so I got rid of it. Uh, I'm pretty certain that's why my brain is thinking... Um, I had one. Now, I have got another one of these in the collection, which is just on the uh, shelf over there. And they are both roughly in the same condition. There's not a lot of difference. Uh, my other one, marginally better simply because this one's got some cracked windows on the top there. And it's missing the sliding door from this side. Um, whereas the other one is 100% complete, but it's got a slightly damaged front axle. See, this one's quite nice and snug, nice and springy. It's not like that. The other one, the front one of the front wheels just goes boink, straight up into the cab. <clears throat> so yes, yeah, the other one's marginally better than this one. I, mean, I suppose I could steal a sliding door off the other one, put it on this one, then this one would be in better condition. <laughs> so, that's one option. Right, there's not really much else of interest in here. I mean, like I said, a lot of it is just old junk that needs restoring or for parts. Like this um, Corgi Land Rover. A little funky dinky toys race car there. Slightly done axis. And we've got another corgi here. Looking a bit rough. I mean you could restore them if you want to. Oh there's the other one of those look with the uh, broken windscreen. But it's got the rear bit on. And I look these over and it's going to be a lot easier just to change this bit than it is um, try and fix this bit because it's actually snapped off from the looks of it. And besides the paintwork is actually better on this one as well. Uh, we've got uh, one of these tracked loaders. I would love to find some tracks for that. Perhaps obtain one that's um, complete. And I've got my second one of these as well. But this one is actually different to the other one, just simply because my other one, I can't even see a mounting for it, um, hasn't got the spare wheel bit for it. 
I don't think it's got the mounting for it. Or it might have, but I think it's broken off completely. And this one's just missing the tie, but the paint works worse. So the hydraulics actually mean... I think they actually stay up on the other one. But the wheels are on here nice and snug. In fact, looking at that, I can see it shining in there. I think someone's glued them on. Yeah, I can see what looks like remains of glue just in there. Perhaps someone has glued them on. They probably got fed up with them falling off like I did with mine. <laughs> and Ferrari F40 by Barago. There's three of these, actually. Two Barago and one Chinese copy. Um, the other two are actually on the floor because I'll just... I don't know what I'm going to do with the stuff I don't want. I'll either car boot it or donate it to charity. I've got a box for charity just outside the front door, so I might chuck it all in there. Uh, just a generic Dodge Viper. And a Matchbox Troop Carrier Vehicle thingy. Got an old dinky um, street sweeper. It's a fair bit of weight in there. I think that might be beyond restoration, but there is a lot of salvageable parts on that. I mean, this door is broken. It's lost all the framework. Off camera again. So, yeah, I'm not sure. Um, the other door has actually been pushed in and got wedged, but it is complete, so... There's a door, there's a cab, there's um, the body that likes to fall off, the wheels. I suppose you could restore it if you really, really wanted to. But it's actually made me think I wouldn't mind trying to find um, one in better condition than that. I'll say. I'd never, I'm not fussed about mint condition on my models. It is nice to have them when I do obtain them, but uh, I, I can settle for sort of like fair or reasonable. I guess I'm just not that fussy. Um, and a Corgi Toys Porsche Audi. I know nothing about this style of race car, but the fact it's got Porsche and Audi on it, I'm going to assume that was a joint thing from both companies, maybe? Like I said, I have absolutely no idea. I've actually got the racer in there, I've just realised that. <clears throat> My voice keeps going squeaky. Um, really, the only other interesting one would be this other Corgi as well, which is a Porsche. Apart from that, that, that would be it from the bag now. So I'm now left with a mess to clear up. <laughs> so, that is it for this video. I hope you all enjoyed it. Um, of course, when I come across more um, finds and whatnot for the collection, I will um, do videos on those as well. Um, I don't like to do it on the modern stuff, the brand new stuff, because I just think that's boring. I can, if, you know, people want to see that, but... Yeah, oh, what I think of it, um, for those that might be interested and may not have heard of this channel, uh, it's called, I think it's WTF4 or WT4. Um, but I've followed him for several years now on YouTube and he has a humongous collection of Hot Wheels and he is the sort of collector that has to collect every vehicle apart from the modern fantasy crap um, so yeah he's got a very interesting collection he has got a huge basement just full 
he's got all these different, um, I don't know what you'd call them, like organiser tray things. They were meant to be trays, so they've got all these little divisions, but he's actually just mounted them on the walls and put all the Hot Wheels in there. In release date order. And every variation he can find. Um, including very rare, very expensive ones. And by expensive, I mean some of his have actually gone into triple figures. Very interesting channel, a very interesting collection. Um, he does have other stuff as well. He likes Johnny Lightning. Um, and he does have some Matchbox stuff. I can't remember what else he has as well. There's a few other brands that I don't think we actually get over here, or not that much of anyway. But yeah, I just thought I'd um, just mention that. It's probably one of my favourite diecast channels to watch. Anyway, thanks a lot for watching everyone. As always, links to my other two channels as well as Discord will be in the uh, description below. And, uh, yeah, I guess I'll talk to you in the next video. Bye.